So in order to add some columns to our site, we have to head back over to index.handlebars. And at this moment in time, we are simply displaying this postcard inside of a for each. And that's fine because it's exactly what we're going to be doing. But now, instead of having the postcard inside of this for each block, I want to have it inside of a div with the class of column. And we can stick our postcard in there. And that means that we need an overall container. So we can give main the class of container. We can also then create a list of columns. So we'll have a div underneath our main with a class of columns. And we'll stick our for each inside of there. If we then refresh our page, and we make it a little larger, you'll see that, of course, we have these columns now, which is appearing on screen. But if we change our screen to be a certain width, you'll see that it then changes to one column. So we go from one to three columns, but perhaps it would be better if our columns were multi-line. So let's add is dash multi-line to our columns. And we'll make each one of these post cards take up half of the column. So let's add is dash half. And when we add that, you'll see that we now get these two posts. So you don't have three anymore or as many as it could fit. It would have six or seven or however many it could fit on that one line. But instead, now we have two. At the same time, just to make sure everything's centered, I'm not sure we need to add this, but I do want to add is centered to our column just so everything remains centered no matter what. We may be able to remit that and we may come back to that and remove it in the future. So now when we take a look at our application, you can see that we have these three items. Let's head over to our package.json now. And inside of our package.json, we can change our posts per page to be something like five. This will allow us to display some more information. And this gives us the feeling of more posts, but we don't have to create any other posts, if that makes sense. In order to change this, we can run ghost stop and ghost start development. Then we have five items on screen, but we still have this next button at the bottom. I have noticed one problem with our cards though. We are using a lot of the card content and card image, but we aren't actually using the card class. So let's go back over to our post underscore card dot handlebars and we'll give our article the class of cards. And then you'll see that we have this drop shadow at the bottom of our cards or rather around the cards. This makes it look a little more professional and matches the aesthetic of our cards. So up next, let's look at how we can add a footer to our homepage. And then after that, we'll also look at things like changing our pagination.